talked about for two days, you have to embrace the physical nature of the game. Whether it's blocking out physically, setting screens physically, you have to embrace the physical nature of the game. You can't take a playoff. We've had two good days of preparation. Now, like I said to you, you got to take it to the floor and execute it for 40 minutes. Not 38, not 39, 40 minutes. Everybody comes in the game has to know exactly what they're doing and make plays, make basketball plays. Great energy, great effort, have some fun. Let's go. In the midst of winter and a chilling and challenging schedule, the Nittany Lions hosted Michigan State. Spartans coach Tom Izzo looked forward to the trip because he said his team had one of its best weeks of practice leading up to the game. But it was apparent from the opening tip that Ed DeCellis had his Nittany Lions just as ready and intent on ruining the day for Izzo's 19th ranked Spartans. Battle far away. Battle drives on Appling. He stumbles, lost it, goes to Brooks, right hand, window guard. Penn State leads 7-5. Penn State nearly turns it over, but it goes into the hands of Brooks, who now has four. Back to Lucas, top of the key, near wing. Summers, open three ball, good, and Michigan State leads 8-7. First lead of the game for the Spartans. Battle, down low, nicely done. Frazier to his left with eight to shoot. Back door, laid up and in by Andrew Jones, and Penn State reclaims the lead. Nice pass down low from Frazier to Jones. Now, Tom Izzo cannot be pleased so far. Penn State has really had its way offensively. Michigan State struggling, communicating, getting around screens, and Penn State's making them pay. Jones with Sherman on his back. Here comes Battle, slicing into the bucket, lays it up and in. Nice feed by Jones. Penn State leads by three. This was the second of five straight games against ranked teams, an exhausting way to start the Big Ten schedule. But a challenge Penn State was excited about taking on. And the Nittany Lions were doing exactly what the Chellis had asked, making basketball plays every time up and down the court. Their hustle and aggression produced an atmosphere of expectation in the crowd. Summers who drives, blocked by Brooks out of bounds. Jeff Brooks has developed into a force and would say after the game that when Penn State plays aggressive and gets rebounds, they always have a chance to win. He's one of four senior starters that were paving the way for the upset-minded Lions. And all four would score in double digits, executing the game plan to perfection. Here's Rowe inside. It's rare. And Rowe has it blocked. How about Brooks? Flying Jeff Brooks, that's his second big time rejection today. Slowly but surely, Michigan State has seven unanswered points. It yeah, was 20 to 16. Penn State looked like they had some control. Here's Battle needs to make a three. Three ball, got it. Game time. Here comes Draymond Green to Lucas through the lane. That's pretty. Kalen Lucas with nine points. 26 23, Michigan State. Knocked away by Green. Green ahead for Lucius. Lucius feeds. Summers basket counts at a foul on Frazier. Now you need to settle down. And Penn State did. Under the calming leadership of the Chellis, they went on a 6 0 run and the game was tied again. But not for long. Despite a solid half, a few breakdowns in the final minute allowed the Spartans to go to the locker room with a five point lead at halftime. At Michigan State, Darrell Summers scores the final five points of the half, and that's the margin at the break. 36-31, Michigan State. We, we played the last 30 seconds of the first half like a bunch of, you know, knuckleheads. And we let them, you know, score some baskets and get the lead. We're right there. And uh, so we challenged them to come out, and I think they scored three early baskets, but then we settled in defensively again. And well, we faced a little bit of adversity. We were able to come back. Um, when, when Michigan State took the lead, and, and I think we came out and, and really competed. Our main focus was to get it back to, you know, even, and then us to try to push the lead out. We all play aggressive, and uh, we, we all feed off of each other, especially the seniors. They're a really good basketball team, a well-coached team, and if you, uh, you know, you, you give them much of a cushion, you're gonna, you, you play behind, you know, against that, that group, and you're going to find yourself, they're going to chop you up. I think Michigan State feels like they can get any shot they want against this Penn State defense if they move the ball and take care of it. But if Michigan State takes care of the ball, moves the ball, gets good shots, they're going to be tough to beat. Top of the key is Jackson. Good move to Jones. Slams it home with two hands. An exclamation point to start the final 20 minutes. An even better call by the coaching staff. 
It was a nice start to the second half, and when you talk about taking care of the ball, Penn State was nearly flawless, committing just six turnovers the entire game. That kind of attention to detail, combined with a collective junkyard dog mentality, helped the Nittany Lions go on a 10-0 run early in the second half. Battle foul line, back to Jackson, 10 shoulder fake for the lead. Good, Penn State leads 41-4. You know, to go up on a team like that, coming out the gate, you know, to, to get that cushion and, and kind of get our momentum rolling, it's huge. Right hand up, short, rebound Jackson, good defense by Jackson. Brooks thought about it, now back to Jackson, straight on three, got it! You know, usually, you know, the Michigan State team doesn't allow you to, you know, come out of halftime and, and punch them in the mouth like that, so for us to get that momentum going and, and kind of, you know, let them know, hey, you know, we ain't going anywhere, that was, you know, that was really huge for us. Marshall for the lead, window gone, Penn State in front, knocked away and stolen by Brooks on a five defensive play. That was the key, you know, not everything was perfect, but uh, I think we did everything hard tonight. They played hard, but they won the easy way, executing fundamentals, winning the battle of the glass, and playing tight defense. And it was still anybody's game. Rebound by Battle. Penn State looks for the lead on the run. Their corner Brooks for three in the lead. It's good! Penn State leads 57-54. Tenacious. That's how they played. Holding the Spartans to just 36% shooting in the second half. These kinds of games are what make Big Ten basketball so great to watch. There were 18 lead changes. The game was tied eight different times. The Penn State did the little things better at the foul line, on the boards, and in the end, that made the difference. 61-60, under 10 to shoot. Huge possession here for both teams, and they turn it over. So now Penn State a chance to retake the lead. Battle near wing for three in the lead. It is no good. Tipped in by Andrew Jones with the left hand, and the Nittany Lions take the lead. Lucius, big shot on the way. No good. Rebound. Lucas back up. No. Oh, what a phenomenal defensive play by Brooks. Brooks finished with his second straight double-double. And while the Jordan Center exploded, Penn State's huddle was calm, setting it up for an even louder celebration. Everyone in the building stands. Shot clock at 16. Mark Brooks holds. Back to Marshall. Battle pops out, wants the ball, gets it near wing with 10. Battle screen for Jones to his right. Battle stops, fades away. It's good! Of course it's good. Battle working on Lucius. The point. Yeah! Green, Lucas to his right. Far corner, three ball to tie. Summers, air ball pulled down by Tim Frazier. Timmy's going to shoot two with 8.7. It was the end of a great game, but the beginning of an even greater week. Lucius straight to the hook, misses it. Rebound to the Nittany Lions, and Penn State pulls off the upset. And the Nittany Lions have knocked off 18th ranked Michigan State and even their conference record, and they storm the court at the Jordan Center. They outplayed them today. They deserved the win, and they did. You slammed that down. Good job, Tim. Let's go, man! Screen from Jones to his right. Battle stops. Let's go! Of course it's good. We're supposed to be in the Big Ten, fellas. That's how you play, man. Rebound, Kalen Lucas. Reverse layup, no. Jeff Rebound Brooks got Brooks. it. Brooks stops near corner. Brooks for three in the lead. It's good! That's having some fun. That's gotten it out. Let's have a little toughness. Really proud of you. Really proud of you. Tough stretch here. Another big game coming in. Michigan State, you guys practiced well for two days. Believed you can win, and we got to win. Everybody contributed. Everybody made plays. They stormed the court at the Jordan Center. Everybody made plays. Everybody made basketball play. Everybody made a toughness play somewhere along the way. The Jones, big tip, big follow. <clears throat> that was crucial for us. Proud of your effort, proud of your energy level, proud of your competitive spirit. I thought you competed to win. We weren't out there just playing to play. We were playing to win. It's a big, big difference. You guys prepared in the green squad. Was unbelievable this past week. Did a great job for us. Well, let's move on from here. Tuesday, we got Illinois, who, who I think in Coast things may be, you know, maybe one of the best teams, if not the best team in the league. So we got four to go. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah.
Family on three. One, two, three, family. <laughs>